Hi everyone. Before we start this video, just a, a one word of caution. I, I know that my videos can uh, glamorize this race, but uh, if you do decide to ever do this race, please um, the, use caution and take enough water out in the Badlands. They're not called Badlands for, for nothing. So just uh, go out there and be safe. Enjoy the video. I'm on the home stretch. I'm a little emotional. It's not 50 miles, but it's still hard. And I don't know, I'm not gonna be back here next year, so yeah. We are hiking up this little trail that goes up right above Medora, in the hills of Medora. So when we get to the top, we'll have a really good view of Medora. It says you can get on it, but that you need adult supervision. <laughs> this is Medora. The Moors, she was a Hoffman. This is the Hoffman house. There's Jeff. It's the morning of the Matahe Marathon, and it's about 4.30. We're up, we're getting really close to leaving. Um, Holly and her husband are picking us up and taking us to the start line. Thanks, Holly and Larry. And I think we're ready. Um, Jeff and I are planning on mostly walking this marathon so um, I'm not sure. We don't really have a time goal, so it could be a while that we're out there, but that's okay. And then to finish off my day, um, I'll finish the marathon and then I'll have some time to rest, um, hopefully. But uh, I am pacing my friend Jessica, who is doing the 56 mile race, and I'm pacing her last eight miles in so I am super excited about that so it's gonna be a great day and here we go hey we made it to one again thanks to Holly and Larry this is Holly she's uh doing the marathon how are you feeling right now fingers crossed no pain it's gonna be good 
Just, all right. That's all I wanted was to start this with no pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I'm the last one. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Here come some more people. <laughs> so everybody's trying to be last. I love this. So pretty. Jeff and I are four miles in and doing good we're on the buffalo gap trail now and how are you doing jeff fantastic beautiful it's still cool out um and i'll show you the trail now and a half miles in doing good Jeff's behind me somewhere I'm gonna start running I, I've drunk uh, one water bottle so far We are at eight miles and a quarter. Uh, doing good. We've been doing some running. It's still pretty cool out. There's a nice breeze. I've been seeing a lot of the spots that I would sometimes sit and take breaks by it's like memory lane. We are at 9.3. Just huffing along. I'm almost done with two water bottles, so is Jeff. And I think we got a biker coming. So, almost at 11 miles, we just got through the aid station, we heard Holly's two miles back, and has some guacamole dip and some pretzels, a little bit of coke, and we're off. And we gained a running partner. We're at 11.75 and we've got a little bit of a running train.
We are halfway. We're at 13 and a half miles. Jeff says his legs are feeling it. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I do feel it in my legs. More like the pads in my feet are the worst. I'm at 16 and a quarter. Jeff's behind me with a guy named Niels. And he's having fun, so I'm only maybe a half mile ahead of him. I was able to drop him some food. So he took a honey stinger and a kind bar. But I'm almost to the highway. I can see all the cars. I'm at 17.2 and I'm about ready to go into the highway. Except that I might wait for Jeff here. Give him his water. No, it was a, I mean, it was a big one that, uh... Hey, babe. Oh. Oh. Jeff got his water. Under the highway. We're at 18 and a half, and <laughs> memory lane again. Okay, I'll show you the trail. But running this in the dark, um, it was a little steeper a minute ago, but I was a little freaked out because I couldn't see what, with my headlamp, what was over on the edge. Oh, look how gorgeous this is. See the highways over there. Here comes the crew. Woo! Let's go, baby! Make this thing happen. We gotta get some pizza. They think there's pizza at the next aid station <laughs> and a couch. Look at this. There's nothing I want in my ears that bad. All sorts of good things. Watermelon. I thought I was gonna miss your finish. It looks like there's dry. People have been going to the left and crossing this way. I saw I saw the orange shirts doing it. Orange is on the left and cross. Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, no problem. We just gotta get over this. We still got Texas. I am at 22 and a half. Um, Jeff is with Nils. And he said it was okay. He doesn't care if I take off. So I went on ahead.
Take a look at this. It's gorge. These are some of the rocks you go through at night. I'm almost at 24. I'm doing pretty good. It's getting pretty hot though. I'm about 1.4 from the finish, so I'm on the home stretch. Oh, that breeze feels good. It's pretty hot. I'm worried about Jeff because I think he's out of water. But we're close and I saw him behind me. I got one more mile. Pretty strong headwind. But boom yeah, I got this. I can hear the cowbells. Let's see the finish line. One last push. Now finishing the Mata Hay Marathon from Mandan, Janelle Thomas, and from Bismarck, Dana Schweitzer. From Hull, Iowa, Woo! Jeff Newton Bogart. Good job. If you need some ice, they have ice packs there, or there's a colder water. Good job, babe. Finishing the marathon from Williston, Nils Lee, and from Utopia, Texas, 79 years old, Paul Jensen. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome job. Finishing the marathon is Holly Peterson Hurd. Out of West Lake, Oregon. First of all, congratulations to Jessica for finishing that 56 mile Mata Hay race. Awesome job. Thanks for letting me come with you and be your pacer. I just loved it. I was pretty excited to be able to do this. Um, since I wasn't running the 56 mile race, I thought it would just be so fun to be out there at night with Jessica. However, what happened is I finished my marathon probably a little after one o'clock in the afternoon. And between that time and the time that I paced Jessica, there was a pretty big thunderstorm, rainstorm, and there was hail. And the creeks that I went through um, that were dry or very little water were now raging creeks and the water was waist high or worse. I'm with Jess and we're on the home stretch. We 
we've got a 10k to do we're we're better we're doing good the last three creek crossings i believe it was the same creek and this was about a mile and a half from the finish of the race there's no way but forward and through these creeks and i was terrified i really was i was almost crying out there i it was just it was dark and that water was moving fast and it was deep and i was so scared jessica has experience with this and she took my hand and she told me to point my my uh, feet into the river into the current and then she walked me through it she, she would say things like it's going down here a little bit there's a stick here and she got me safely across all three on the second creek crossing though we did get swept down a little bit and we both grabbed onto some grasses and managed to get standing again and get across so that was an experience i've never had out in the badlands and it was it was really crazy i saw a new side of the badlands and wow Congrats again to Jess for her finish. It was just so fun being out there with you.